Hi everybody, today we're going to do a product review. Okay, so we received the Calm Life F-150 mini fan in the mail. We were asked to review it. I'm going to unbox it for you guys and then we're going to test it out. See what some of these features are and then um, see if they live up to the hype. I think this is going to be fun. Alright, here we go. The box. Let's open this thing up see what we've got. First, the fan. Black. Looks pretty, pretty basic. Everything spins. That's pretty neat. All right, next, dear customer card, thank you for purchasing or choosing Calm Life. And bag of goodies. Looks like we got some pads, some batteries, and a cord in there. Okay, inside the goodie bag, we have the charging cable, what look like two of the biggest I mean, they're, they're like giant C batteries, or AA batteries, I mean, but they're, they're not, they're special. And uh, aromatherapy discs that go into the fan and diffuse uh, the aromatherapy. Pink batteries, match my shirt. Go in the bottom, which, neat feature, uh, the little battery door does not have to be screwed in. It's just a standard, you know, clip in thing so you don't have to find your little screwdriver to make make that work so boom it's on Ooh, uh. so that's a pretty nice fan that's pretty good uh wind strength coming off that bad boy it's stepless so after the initial click when you turn it on it builds and speeds that doesn't that means instead of going from low medium medium high to high like in in some cars where you click it and it goes to one speed and you click it it goes to the next speed this one actually has um it's stepless so you can adjust this the actual speed you're not locked into just low medium high you can go you know low medium things like that so you've got a little bit more control over exactly the the wind strength that you get out of this fan so that's pretty cool uh i'm not noticing any kind of change in the wind strength as i spin this bad boy around it spins pretty easy but it's firm enough that i feel like if you were to like put it in one place it's not gonna you know i'm shaking it and it's not moving so I feel fairly certain that I could attach this to the stroller and run with it let's see not that not that the stroller actually shakes this much poor Gabriel would be going all over the place but it's not moving so I feel like I could clip it on this could blow on him and he would stay comfortable while I'm exercising or we're going for a walk or something like that so let's test some of the other stuff we're in the laundry room because that's where the essential oils live I got my little pad. I've got lemon eucalyptus. Let's see if I can do this where you guys can see. I'm gonna put, oh my gosh, come on. All right, well, one, two, and three. more than three. I was gonna put just three, but we're gonna roll with that. Okay, so, got your little pad. Spin it around the back side of this fan has a little gap that is perfect size for this. I'm gonna slide the little pad in there and that's pretty cool. So it's faint, but it is there. It's not, uh, I kind of expected it to be a little bit stronger, but it's behind This little thing you can squeeze and pull it out but there's a it's kind of blocked so it's not quite open so if you put your oil right smack in the middle like I did it's real strong when you write it here I guess if you were to not quite push it all the way in it's a little bit stronger 
but essentially it's pulling the air through the back and the little sponge is there with the stuff on it and I only I did only put three drops so if you put more than three drops it might be a little bit stronger but it is it is diffusing that oil that aroma and uh, that smells really nice so that's a pretty cool little feature let's test out the the uh, loudness is that a word the loudness of this fan so as you can see Gabriel is down for his nap he tends to uh, he's a pretty hearty sleeper but he does wake up if things happen in his room or just outside the door so we're gonna take that fan in there I know I'm going to risk waking up my son I'm gonna take that fan in there set it on the changing table turn it on high and then walk out and we're gonna wait and see what happens You guys saw me take it in there and turn it on. There it is in the monitor, sitting on the changing table. And let's see, that's a chair. There he is, sound asleep. So the noise test, this fan passes. Congratulations. Okay, so this is Gabriel's stroller. That's the one that I use the most anyway. I'm gonna clip it, make sure that it clips onto things. Um, he does, Gabriel does, he's kind of grabby. Um, and the, I would say that the guard over the blades is pretty small. I think that he would have to really push his fingers if he was gonna try and get them in there. But I, I don't, honestly don't think he could do it. I don't think he could get his fingers in there. Um, hey, I mean, that's pretty much perfect. Boom, right on his face. Uh, let's see. Other thing I would do is clip it to the top of the canopy. It's pretty pretty held on there. This would blow. I, uh, I think that actually, <laughs> I think this might help because this particular canopy on the stroller doesn't stay down. It tends to kind of tip back. So, I think the extra weight of the fan might actually help keep the canopy over his head, which would provide shade. So, shade and a fan. So, I like the clip feature. I think that he might be able to get to it, but I really, like I said, I don't think that he'd be able to fit his little fingers through those gaps. Um, but it does clip on to various other parts, so clip function works great. So, let's talk about charging. This thing, if you're like us, you've got a million of these all over the house or strategically placed wherever you may need to charge your phone. Uh, it's USB, comes with the power cord, not this, just the cord. Uh, plug it in, little USB on the side, just plug it in there, plug it into the wall. And you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's an indicator, it's a red light flashing indicating that it's charging. Um, you can use it while it's charging. And you can use it with no batteries at all. So as long as it's plugged in, obviously. Works just like it would if there were batteries. That's pretty cool. So one other feature that, the, um, that this fan boasts is that you can use it with only one battery. So if you don't have uh, both batteries for some reason or one of them's dead, I don't know, you can use this with just one battery. So here's the other one.
works just like it did if it had two. That's pretty cool. So this fan has one other feature that I read about and that is says, actually in the manual, it says that you can use it for charging your phone in emergencies. Um, I imagine they add that in case of emergency part because they don't want you to do it all the time. It probably shouldn't be your phone's sole source of power. But if you're like me and you happen to be out on a walk and you're vlogging and you use your phone to film and um, you're at the park, battery starts to die, you may need a quick juice to make sure that you've got a signal until you get home so you can plug in or something like that. This fan might save your butt. So it has a USB on the side. I've got my phone charger, my iPhone plugged in there. My phone. Wow, and it jumped right up. So shows that it's charging. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it is working. So. That's another cool feature of this fan. Of this fan. So in terms of battery life, um, I ran it full speed, um, fresh out of the box. It lasted about 10 hours, and, but again, that's full speed and that's the charge out of the box. I haven't um, charged it myself, like plugged it in and sat there and it, sat there and watched it, but plugged it in and waited until I knew the charge was full and then turned the, the fan on and tested how long it would last. So good battery life. Uh, one note about the charging, the energy bank that I forgot to mention, you can't um, run the fan and charge your phone at the same time. That's that's one feature, one thing. Totally understandable. So, just to go, just to recap, ultra quiet. We know that works. Gabriel's still asleep. Strong wind. I think it was pretty strong. It's decent. It's uh, 95 degrees outside right now. Um, and I did go outside. It does make a a significant difference. Uh, aromatherapy, the entire house now smells like uh, eucalyptus and lemon. Uh, probably not because of the fan, but because the sponge has been sitting on the countertop since I did that test, and it's all I can smell. <laughs> Long battery life, like I said, about 10 hours, running on full speed right out of the box, and uh, stepless, stepless regulation, we looked at that. Uh, pretty nice feature. So. If I'm being totally honest, that's my desk where I edit all this stuff, where I'm going to edit this video, and uh, <laughs> that is the air conditioning vent for the living room. So you can see it's, my desk is underneath, so air blows this way, not this way. So this fan will likely live on the desk with me when uh, it's not clipped to the stroller. Told you. It's listed on Amazon right now for like 23 bucks. Uh, I know those prices shift, but I would say even if it went up a couple of bucks, it's still totally worth it. This is a really good fan. Um, I think if I was in the market for a fan, that this would definitely be one I would look into. Uh, versatility with the batteries, you know, works if it's plugged in with no batteries, can run on one battery, so if one of them dies for some reason, you'll lose it, something like that. It still works. Um, Quality construction comes in four colors, pink, green, blue, and black. So it's a pretty cool fan. I like it. I think it's uh, it tested great. Um, and I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me and asked me to review it. I'm being totally honest. I, I was going to test it and, and tell you if something didn't work. So uh, I'm impressed with it. I like it. And we're going to keep on using it. So. Appreciate you guys watching, and um, I guess I'll put a link to this product below if you're interested in it. Um, but thanks for watching it, watching my review. We'll see you next time.